everything was planned to, to react and to do things in the safest uh, possible way. When Buzz Aldrin reflects on what happened 40 years ago, he hardly misses a detail. From liftoff, we could hear people uh, talking to us on, on the earphones. We could see the instruments uh, moving, and we knew we were leaving ground. We were watching the Earth grow smaller and smaller. To landing on the moon. We could uh, sort of look up and see the very rugged terrain of uh, just craters all, all over the place, one after another. Aldrin calls his life-changing experience an unexpected opportunity. I didn't really seek it out. And says he was reluctant to step up to the challenge at first. As soon as that announcement was made, I sort of shared with my uh, uh, wife at that time that, you know, I'd just as soon not be on that first landing because it's going to get so much attention and uh, we're, we're going to be paraded all around. But that really wasn't an option, so I just had to pursue on. When Aldrin recalls his experience on the moon, he does so with both authority and emotion. I could see the dust uh, making a sort of a blur of, of the shadow. And about that time, the uh, probe, uh, six-foot probe on the back landing gear touched the ground and, uh, and a light came on. And I said, contact light. Then shortly after, Neil said those rather comforting words, Houston Tranquility Base. The Eagle has landed. That was the moment of, uh, of triumph. He says planting the American flag was the proudest moment, I think, in my life to have succeeded as a military person, as a very proud American to, uh, to put the flag up there and then to stand back and, uh, and salute the flag. Aldrin is quick to call the Apollo 11 mission a great success, but he says returning to Earth was more difficult than he anticipated. My life after the magnificence of being on the moon sort of turned into a gradual uh, desolation uh, and frustration. Aldrin divorced his wife at the time and battled alcoholism for years. He decided to write about his challenges in his new book titled Magnificent Desolation, a phrase Aldrin set on the moon to describe his new surroundings. My life story is, uh, has been unfolding um, pretty much in magnificent desolation. Although he devoted much of his life to the moon, he's hoping future generations look toward Mars. It's another planet. It can sustain people. And I think now we are approaching the time for U.S. potential leadership of human expansion outward. For UPI.com, I'm Kristen Volk.